Today I'm going to be talking about my struggles with being queer and I'm going to distract myself from that by making some 3D art. So grab your crafts and let's get into the tea. Okay, we are officially ready to get started. I'm gonna start with making some balls. I really wanna try to like make some eyeballs, like 3D eyes. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just start with making the eyes. But yeah, so I knew that I was gay at a very early age, honestly. Like, don't come for me. Um, but it definitely had to be younger than seven. Because, like, I had a lot happen in my life before I turned seven. So, I can't really remember the exact age that I had my first, like, oh, yeah, I like pussy or, like, I like girls moment. So, I can't remember the, like, I can't remember my exact age. But I remember the situation. It was honestly, like, a classic enemies to lover story. There was this girl I would play hella rough with outside. Um, and, like, she would, like, low-key bully me, y'all. Uh, but, like... I don't know like we were kids so i mean whatever um and then one day i invited her to my house while my mom was like kind of like downstairs with her mom or whatever chilling and she like climbed on my bunk bed and i just kind of remember us like rolling around and like kind of like play wrestling each other um and then we like kissed and started exploring each other's bodies y'all like we were fucking y'all <laughs> and i loved it like <laughs> i was like okay like i can feel this way with the girl i don't even know how to freaking explain it but i was just like okay like i like that <laughs> Then I had like a few more experiences that were kind of like similar as I got a little bit older. Sorry if I'm like talking in circles at any points. Anyways, what I'm just trying to say is that from a young age, I knew that I liked women, even though I didn't understand it. I knew that I was attracted to them. I wanted to be close to them. I wanted to touch them. Uh, they made me wet like... <laughs> Um, I think this is enough eyes for now. Yeah, I don't know what the heck I'm making or how this is going to turn out. But yeah, I guess we'll just see. So yeah, back to the topic. I discovered that about myself. And unfortunately, I started having repeated essay experiences. And it just made me feel so disconnected from my sexuality. Like, I felt so ashamed to even be horny or get turned on by things like I always just felt like such a slut and then my caregiver they would always reinforce that I was a whore for even wanting to kiss people or having crushes on people like I was told that I could not date until I was 18 and it just made things really really difficult like they also was very religious so like whenever anything would come up about me being gay like their response would be to be like oh you're gay you want to be gay like insert family member in like a very condescending way so like that just added an extra layer to like my whole I don't really care about my sexuality it isn't my own anyways so why should I try to explore it you know okay now that i'm done with the eyes i do want to make two more balls because i want to make a big butt and then the rest i'm just gonna kind of like freeform it i love clay but i don't like how it like can get stuck in your nails um but yeah all of those experiences just really made my relationship with my identity so rocky because you know, like I was saying in my last video about the people pleasing, it's really easy to just lose your identity when you're living in like a constant state of wanting to make sure everyone else around you is comfortable and happy and never really going after your own true desires. Um, and I really just 
and that's really been the space that I've been in my entire freaking adolescence honestly my entire life I just know that I missed out on those teenage years to be queer and I never got to experience like that teenage queer love and that just makes me feel so sad like that's honestly something that I regret like and why and is the reason why I really want to address this now so that I don't continue building on this regret I have my two little balls for my booty I'm put them on in a second so because of those issues and because I didn't have a good relationship with my sexuality or my identity I would always go after girls who were unavailable or who I wasn't like sure was queer I don't know it's like a part of me felt like I didn't deserve that level of like expression where I felt like I couldn't experience that I felt like because it was so easy to get into straight relationships that like this is just clearly what's it meant for me um and honestly I for a long time I thought that women didn't like me like I'm not even gonna lie to y'all like I just felt like women didn't like me which only further pushed me in the closet and I really just try to suppress that side of myself and just be like well if I was really gay then things would be happening more naturally for me um even though I wasn't putting myself even though I wasn't even putting myself out there oh my gosh y'all please tell me it's not right by my house thank you i hope whoever that is that they save you i'm so sorry that this is happening on a friday night omg i have to get out of this city y'all like i can't um but yeah only pushed me further into the closet and i really thought that i really thought that i had dealt with it you know by shutting it out but literally y'all for so freaking long the only way that i would get turned on is if i thought about a woman coming on to me and after a while of that i was like okay shay you clearly are denying yourself of an experience and you really need to get that together because you're just going to continue to hurt yourself and the people around you okay, so that brings us up to speed to where we are now in my sexual journey Okay, so at this point, I really wanted to add some 3D waves onto the canvas, but it just was not working out. So, like, I'm sorry in advance, but this is definitely about to go to shit. Um, but yeah, anyways, initially getting into this world, it just felt so freaking intimidating because I'm a femme who likes films and I just always thought that there had to be a sub and a dom in order for the relationship to work. Um, and I didn't have anyone, you know, to talk about those kind of things with. Because, like, I'm not trying to be shady, but the whole LGBTQ community just feels so corporate sometimes. Similar to the BLM movement. And I know some of y'all know what I'm talking about. But, like, it just has never been a place of resonance for me. So, like, being someone who's very picky about who they allow around them and who I actually vibe with and, like, activities that I engage with, it makes it so difficult to meet people. So, I'm trying to, like, remain patient. Um, of course, like, I can do dating apps and stuff like that, but ciao, ciao, ciao. <laughs> The dating apps they're not bad they're not bad but like y'all stop playing with me i'm trying to just be patient y'all i'm trying to be patient and meet people the old-fashioned way like that's what i'm really trying to do right now but yeah i'm in my old lady era and i've just really been focusing on figuring out my own expression of sensuality and sexuality and just getting really grounded in what that means for me so that I don't get stuck in the trap again of feeling like I need to perform for everybody else. And then also just taking the pressure off myself to have it figured out. Like I'm only 23, bro. Some people don't even come out the closet until they're like 40. So, I mean, I think I'm doing good. I just need to, to remain patient, I guess. So yeah, this video is like a part of my first steps into the right direction. So yeah, I'm finished here is the final product. 
honestly, it, it looks crazy, but it doesn't look awful. Like, the eyes are cute. Like, look at the eyes. I think the eyes are so cute, and I like the little clouds I added around it. But look at the booty. <laughs> this shit looks so fucking silly. Like, stop. This is not a serious art project, as y'all can clearly tell. But I still have fun um, doing the clay. I feel like if I would have, like, really taken my time with this, then maybe I could have made it look better. But, yeah. Uh here is what we got it honestly looks like a freaking map we just needed a little activity while we talked about this but yeah i really just wanted to make this video with the intention of showing that sexuality is 80 percent fucking messy and figuring shit out um and you shouldn't feel so pressured to fit this ideal your feelings and experiences shouldn't feel invalid because it isn't fitting a stereotype and that's something that i've been coming to learn and accept myself but yeah i'm on my period now and i am officially just like wanting to lay down i have my cozy little sweater on here my little teddy bear sweater and i don't know like this subject this talking about this subject talking about this topic has just been like hitting me a little bit harder because i'm on my period yeah i've just been really sad honestly so i'm gonna probably go and cry for a bit journal drink some fucking tea and deal with my shit so yeah <laughs> thank you for watching i hope you enjoy subscribe comment if you've had a similar experience or if you relate to this at all um yeah i'll see you guys in the next video bye I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you.